Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a playful fun, just playing around with makeup. So I am just going to wing it. Um, today I already started with my foundation and my brows are done. So we already skipped that part. And of course we prepped in primer face. So y'all already know how I already do that. So we don't have to record that every time. So that being said, let's get started. So I'm gonna do my eyes first and then I'm going to continue with my face. I don't know how to start this look guys. <laughs> So I'm gonna take Sugar Coated from the Makeup by Makeup of Power with Nikki Tutorials and I'm gonna pack it on the lid. So this is a nice pinky color. And I kinda wanted to work with blue today. I was feeling bluey. So we're just gonna pack this on the lid for a starting point just to wake this eye up. I actually didn't wanna film today, but I'm like, hey, why not? I'm getting ready anyways. I'm about to go to Applebee's with my sister. So we usually try to go out once a week to catch up on life. So we go to Applebee's or we go to the movies. We do something different with each other. Grabbing I Will Always Love You from that same palette. And we're just going to bring it in the corners and just buff it out on the corners. So yeah, I mean, my sister would like to always do something together because she doesn't live with me anymore. So. I would always want to like do something with her. Looking cool. I feel like I'm always doing like neutrals and like browns. So I wanted to do something different today and use like blues or purples. So we're just starting off with nudes and we're just gonna go in. Mystic Hour, I think it's one of the really most gorgeous shades in the palette to be honest with you, but instead of taking like a blending brush like this, I'm gonna go in with a brush that looks like this. It's like a flat one. So it's like a blending brush, but it's just flat together. And this is gonna get the really corners very persist and precise, if you call it, onto the brush in the very corners. You don't wanna go too much, because this is, again, this is a very strong, strong color. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna go in that corner and we're gonna carve out that V. I can't wait till October because I can't wait to film Halloween tutorials. I've been super pumped and excited, but then again, I've been so, what am I gonna film? Oh my gosh, what kind of looks do you guys wanna see? So I'm gonna post a Twitter. This is my Twitter account right here. Um, post and see what you guys and your thoughts and what should I film for Halloween I have a couple of ideas in mind but I just want to do some fun crazy stuff I've been trying to actually wanting to film some snapchat filters but I feel like that's already like been there done that but even though like they do bring out some really cool filters like now they have like this scary bunny I don't know but I kind of want to do some Halloween looks and I was vlogging today as well, so that's pretty fun. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while. And I was just thinking today, this morning, like I've been on YouTube for a year and it's been such a crazy ride. And I feel like the more longer I've been part of this world and this journey, it's just bring, it brings so much passion and love and it reminds me of why I started YouTube. This Tarte palette, this is from Rainforest of the Sea and I'm gonna grab Seashell, which is a nice pink shade. Um, the Makeup Geek palette. This is my all-time favorite palette. Shadow right here. And this is Insomnia. I'm grabbing Insomnia and I'm gonna put this in the corner as well. And this is more of such a beautiful shade. I wanna show it to you guys. It's very metallic-y and purple. It reminds me of a fin. It reminds me of a fish fin. It's, it's so cool. So I think it's really nice. So I used it the other day on my lids and it looked phenomenal on the sunlight. So I'm just gonna pack that with that blue. This is bringing out like that glitter cool shade. I think it's really nice. So now I think that's pretty much done with the eyes. I'm just gonna pop on my lashes. And today I'm gonna use the Social Eyes in Vixen, my all time favorite ones, surprise, surprise. So I'm just gonna pop those on. And the glue that I'm gonna use today is the Duo one. 
and I'm gonna use the social lashes tweezers so the way I put on my lashes is like this side goes with this and this side goes with that side so these are already cut All right, today I'm gonna use the better than sex one and just have some mascara onto the lashes I was saying I'm really excited for Halloween this year because I want to film some pretty unique um, makeup tutorials and I'm really excited guys like oh, I'm so excited have you ever been like excited like Christmas time that's how I feel right now is that weird um, as soon as I like to curl them before I place them on but we don't got time for that so that being said girl these tweezers guys are like the best thing ever because it just gets the lashes right where you need to be and then I like to just squeeze them so going from the top dragging it from the side now that the lashes are on we're gonna start contouring our face and I'm going to use the Anastasia obviously because it's like my favorite one my favorite blush and just pop these on the apples of my cheek there today I'm also gonna use the same one I always use which is the makeup forever in the shade 5 I'm just gonna use it down like this my triangle motion and this is gonna clean up all the fallout from our eyeshadow so a damp beauty blender and just blend this out we're gonna get into the very corners and just blend this Again, it was just the foundation, it wasn't my shade. I had to get the tan one, but the foundation that I used today was the Urban Decay All Nighter one. It's my all time favorite one. It's amazing, it doesn't make your face feel dry. So right now, I probably look like a crazy lady, but it's gonna blend, I promise. You just gotta keep hitting it. That's why it's most importantly to get a beauty blender that's damped so it blends neat and nice. You wanna make sure you're blending, blending, blending. You never wanna just be like, okay, I'm lazy and not do anything. You wanna keep blending because you can see these lines a mile away and you don't wanna look like a crazy person. The Twinkle Palette, the center one. All right, now we're just gonna pat this on and we're just gonna bake. No, it's contour time, I'm like rushing. My sister's about to pick me up and I know how she is. Guys, she's gonna kill me. We're gonna go back in that palette, the Anastasia one, and just start contouring. Can you believe we're about to step into fall? I feel like we just winter just happened. Like what happened, guys? Take a blending brush and just blend this away. I feel like everyone this year is trying to be like the Joker's girlfriend for Halloween. And I'm just like, what the hell? Everyone's trying to be her. I don't know. I was, not to lie though, after I saw the movie Suicide Squad, I kind of wanted to be her too. But I feel like everyone and their mom is trying to be her this year. So I kind of don't want to do a tutorial on her. I want to do like makeup face looks. I'm going to try not to wear any um, eyeliner with this look. Because I feel like this look doesn't need eyeliner a winged out eyeliner but you could but I'm trying to step away from that so I think I'm pretty much done with the face all right like today I'm going back in there with that twinkle palette I'm taking a small little precision brush and I'm gonna go in here with the shade sunlight and I'm just gonna go back in there with my little dot Cupid's bow of course the highlights that I can't ever forget bling it out on our neck because we're wearing a low cut shirt. And today for Lippy, I'm gonna use shade Malibu in the Kylie Lip Kits. I've been loving Dirty Peach. I've been wearing Dirty Peach and Brown Sugar, so we are gonna to go today with Malibu, which is a nude shade, blend seamlessly with my lips. And these lippies are $29, but it comes with a lip and the lippy, and they're matte, and they last all day, and they taste so I don't know what it is, but mmm, Kylie. Mm. So for setting spray today, I'm gonna use the Mario Badescu. I just feel like this setting spray is very hydrating. 
smells like roses and rose water because it's rose scent but it just leaves your face feeling more hydrated and not sticky it's my makeup last all day long so it doesn't make my makeup smear so that's a plus and it dries quicker and it makes this happen you know feel me so yeah guys this is the finished look um, I wanted to do something a little more daring today and so I came up with this mermaid blue majestic wild card makeup look I didn't want to do something that I typically do with a nude and just like blah so that being said, I kind of really dig this look. It's pretty neat and pretty funky. Um, and I wanted to have like an up hairdo today. I feel so sophisticated. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye guys.